my beautiful people buenos dias buenas tardes buenas noches 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 good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are at whatever time you may be watching this on this beautiful wednesday I'm a little happy, you guys. I don't know why, but I just am. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy my podcast today. Um, I haven't been able to do a podcast. It's been a little bit busy, a little bit chaotic, um, a little bit crazy. Then my laptop broke, and I had to find a way to replace it, which made it a little bit difficult for me to work and get some stuff done. And it's just been, it's been crazy. It's been crazy, like always, just... Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But anyways, I remember it was Wednesday. And I was like, you know what? I haven't seen my peoples in a minute. My peoples haven't seen me in a minute. So let me jump up on here. And let me just do an episode. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even about catching up or my coaching business or anything like that. I really genuinely just wanted to sit down and chit-chat with y'all. Like chit chat with y'all whether y'all listening to this to the audio or y'all watching the video I just wanted to vibe with y'all for a while like I forgot how much I enjoyed doing my podcast I forgot how much I enjoyed doing my blog I got so focused on trying to build my business and getting more clients and then worried about how my mouth looks now that I'm missing, you know, those two front teeth and worried about what people think about me and that aspect of the word. Are they going to take me serious? Are they going to think I'm a joke? Like, you know, let me put my phone on. Do not disturb. Hold on, you guys. Sorry. I forgot to put it on. Do not disturb. Do not disturb. Um, oh, so let's see. What is up? What is up? What is up? So, tomorrow I am taking my son to the dentist. It'll just be me and him since we have to do the Medicab. I'm leaving the girls back here at the extended day. I'm hoping he has a good appointment because with the wheelchair, the way their office is, it'll be a little bit difficult for me to be, like, in there with him. Um, I'm supposed to have my teeth extracted on the 22nd, I think it is. My anxiety is so high, I don't know if I can do it. I've been debating on getting a second opinion on the amount of teeth that they want to actually pull because this has been killing my anxiety. Ouch. This has been killing my anxiety um, since I found out about it last month. It's been driving me utterly and completely insane. Like, um, I don't know how my audio quality is going to be now with the new laptop. I don't have a USB port for it. There's no USB port to this laptop, so I can't use my external microphone. I'm hoping that the quality is still good and you guys are able to still understand um, what I'm saying. Um, Podcasters, y'all are on my phone, so I know the mic is good with you guys, but for the video, um, yeah, I didn't realize I didn't have a USB portal and that I wasn't going to be able to use my Yeti but anyways so yeah so I'm not sure how I'm going to play this out because my anxiety has been so bad over it and the amount of teeth that they want to pull out they want to pull out 13 teeth okay and then do a root canal I have severe, 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 severe anxiety. 
not only do I have severe anxiety, I also have PTSD, bipolar, depression, like, what happened? Cigarette. Oh, like, um, it all triggers each other, like, they end up triggering each other, so... I'm over here freaking out already since the time I found out, since the appointment has been made. I've been freaking out about it. I want to get a second opinion. Hold on, you guys. I want to put the laptop on the charger. But Ouch, my legs. Had to unplug the charger. This head is attracting a lot of fruit flies. Miracles. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I keep forgetting that when I do the videos, the podcasters can't hear what I'm doing if I'm not talking and saying anything. I be forgetting that sometimes. I'm sorry, you guys. I be drawing blank moments. I just, this is who I am on a daily basis. It's just me. I just give y'all the raw me. I don't sugarcoat anything. Don't don't try to be perfect because I'm not. I'm far from perfect. Um, but I just forgot what I was saying. I literally forgot what I was saying. I don't remember. Oh, 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 now I remember. I want to get a second opinion because they want to pull out 13 teeth and do a root canal. And because of my anxiety and all my conditions and my, you know, everything else, I can't. It's causing my anxiety to get worse this closer the date is coming. But I wanted to get a second opinion. I just haven't even been able to make a phone call to another dentist to get that second opinion. That's how bad my anxiety about the whole situation has been. I would like to resolve it because, yes, I want to get my teeth fixed. And I wish my teeth would have never gotten as bad as they are. But I was battling with a lot of my mental health and, yeah... Like, for those who don't battle with mental illness or mental health, for those who don't have anything going on, you wouldn't understand, but it is honestly a struggle. We may smile, we may laugh, we may joke, you know, we may have our eyes shine bright, but we struggle, and... Sometimes something gets lost in the cracks that we feel is not as important and don't realize that it is. Trying to do this fake persona of a happy-go-lucky person that's really not feeling happy-go-lucky. And trying to work in the customer service field, it was draining me. It was taking a lot out of me and my teeth were... What paid for it, pretty much. My teeth were really what paid for it. That and my health. My health has paid for it, too. Um, my health has paid for it like crazy. Especially with the fact that I have to use this wheelchair. Like, Yeah, my health has paid for it like crazy. But um, I want a second opinion, so I'm not sure how that's going to go. And then... Not just that, but personally, I know when I listen to myself talk on my recordings, I don't hear a difference in my speech. But while I am talking, 
I personally feel like the words are not coming out how they should come out. And like there's a mess up in my speech. That's making me very self-conscious and I'm not liking it. So it's causing to my anxiety as well. Like, can I just get a break? Why do I look like I got a white spot? A white spot right there. Y'all see it? But, um, this chronic pain of mine has been kicking my behind. This chronic pain has been kicking my behind. These past few days, I've been in so much pain. No matter what position I get in, I'm uncomfortable. I'm in pain. I'm, like, ready to just pass out and just try to sleep it off. But that don't help because I'll still wake up and tossing and turning in pain. Like, I got to sit back up. Bear with me, you guys. Because I'm just very uncomfortable right now and in a lot of pain. Yes, but, but. Can you do what? Excuse me? No, and don't ever ask me to use it again. We done been through this conversation. You broke it, and it took me a year to replace it. So, no. Do not ask for it again. Again. It took me a whole year to replace it. So, no. I'm so sorry, but we can't. And I don't understand why you're crying. I didn't break it. You broke it. It's not a toy. You have a tablet. The same thing you do on your tablet is the same thing you want to do on my phone. So no. And there's really no point in you crying, boo boo. Because I'm not saying anything. I'm not yelling. I'm not yelling at you. I'm not saying anything to hurt your feelings. I'm not calling you any names. I'm not bullying you. I'm just telling you the straight facts, okay? So, please stop asking for my phone. Thank you. Like, I can't. It took me a whole year to replace the job phone. It's another reason why I wasn't pushing my press-on nails. Like, we're trying to make money so we can get on our feet, boo-boo, so we can get our own place to live and not have to be in an extended stay all in one room. Okay. Mommy's really trying hard to get us on our feet. All right? Okay. So, are you going Are you going to finish listening to your show? Sorry, you guys. I'm back. I'm back. If you've been to my channel before, then you know that Don't you want to show them the picture? Isn't that what you just said? You said what? The pencil? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were asking to show. Oh, they couldn't see it. Oh, I'm sorry, look. I didn't even realize your head was. All right, I don't know what you did with the... Oh, here it is. Is there anything you would like to say to them? Since you usually ask to talk, and this time I'm letting you do it without asking?
they got them tied to the same circuit, so they got them plugged in there. Uh, uh, so just another iPhone. Like okay. This thing needs another tablet. It really needs another iPhone. Yeah, it's a problem with the room. We need an iPhone too. We have to clean. That's what I'm just doing. Sorry, you guys. The maintenance people came to check. Cause remember the microwave, but it turns out that, yo. Okay, so now that you guys, um, well, this was not part of the topic, obviously, because it's just happened right now. But this is one of the things that causes me anxiety as well, and I'm gonna break it down to you guys and explain it to you, and maybe you'll understand. So. I can't do the standing up for too long. I can't do the bending down like that. I can't do the, um, what is this? Wait, you can't install right now. Can I want to see something. So, Get out of my way, like, thank you. Sorry, you guys, my system is trying to um update. But anyways, I hope it does not update while I'm doing this, because if it does, it's going to restart, and I'm going to get mad, because the video is going to get cut. But anyways, this is where my anxiety comes in as well, every day. Like, my anxiety is a constant, everyday thing. I have to take a pill every four hours for it, um, four times a day. Beba is the one that has to clean, wash dishes, and cook. She struggles to maintain. I'm so used to keeping everything clean and, you know, cleaning while I'm cooking and picking up and leaving everything situated so when we're done eating, it's just about washing the dishes that we ate on than it is to wash everything you cooked with because that was already washed while you were using it. Bella struggles with that concept and struggles with that piece. So our room, one minute can look clean, put together, right, Bella? Mm-hmm. And then the next minute, it looks like Hurricane Andy hit it. And then it's like... And then I hate people coming to the room when it looks like you know, Hurricane Andy did it because at the end of the day, I feel like they're going to say something that's going to be a problem and they're not going to be understanding of she's the only one trying to do it all on her own. Like, it's one person attempting to do everything. And that's why I need to try to get this nurse. Now that they switched my workers, I got to try to reach out to the new worker, make that call, and, you know, get them... To get the process done that needs to be done so that I can try to get a nurse that can help us out to maintain it clean and easier. Maybe that'll lower my anxiety some because at least I know my child doesn't have all this stress and all this pressure on her own. Like, I have found another way to help her since I physically can't do much to help. I can, I'm limited to what I can do. Fold laundry, maybe make a bed, help her make a bed, not make a bed on its own. Maybe I can make it, but I'm sorry if I keep sitting down and standing up, sitting down and standing up, you know, to find a way to make it work. Um, so it causes my anxiety to just jump off the roof, and it's just annoying. It's annoying because I want to show up in more reels. I want to show up in more of my content. I want to get my message across. I want to get my thoughts across. I want to get my experience across. I want to get... I want to help as many people as I can. I want to inspire as many people as I can. I want to show others the support that I don't really get. And that it's hard for me to receive. Like... I, um... I want to be there for others that need someone to be there for them the way that I've needed someone to be there for me these past few years. And I've been stuck on my own trying to figure it all out and raise two high-functioning autistic children 
with mental illness and an atypical preschooling. Like, it's not an easy task. It's not an easy road. And then to top it off, um, you know, with the assistance of a wheelchair, and that affects my ability to find a place to live, get around, take care of our necessities. If I can't get it delivered, I have to figure out how to make it there and back in the wheelchair or find a way to send Bevan be her support system through the whole process of it because her anxiety will get high she has anxiety as well and her social interaction isn't always where she wants to socialize especially with a big group of people so I sometimes have to be there and ready to text or, or pick up the call and coach her through what needs to be done and it's a lot it's 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 draining, it's exhausting, it's frustrating, it's overwhelming, it's unfair, like, it's completely unfair, I've spent my whole life taking care of my kids, worrying about my kids, and trying to be a good mom, that I deteriorated myself in the process, not realizing I wasn't doing what I needed to do to take care of myself. So that I could be a good mom continuing to move forward. Like, right now, we wouldn't be in these shoes if I had two good legs. I've been working two jobs, gotten us on our feet, found an apartment, made the income needed, busted my ass to get on my feet, like, all the way like I've done in the past. But I can't do that right now can't and won't have that luxury I have to make it work however I can and now I'm trying to find new coaching clients I've just finished with one of my clients I actually need to ask her for another review um so I can put it up on my website but we just finished our contract it was amazing like I really do love being a coach and I'm still working with my other client and it's just it's rewarding, you know? It's rewarding. Using my experience, my knowledge, what I've been through, what I go through to help others is a way for me to cope with my own life. It's a way for me to be okay. You know what I mean? It's just it's just a way. It's just a way. A way for me to make it. And away from my kids to make it, away from my kids to have something. Yeah. It's depressing, you guys. It's depressing. It's, it's just so depressing. Like, because, I, you know, I could see myself still struggling if I didn't care. If I wasn't busting my ass, if I wasn't trying my hardest to I'm sorry, I got stuck in my I'm still on this. The room is a mess, they can't attack the microwave. I know we're gonna have a problem with the fact that the room has to get picked up and cleaned. How can I get Big Live to function enough? And I can show y'all the mess in the room. Like, it isn't really like, oh, my God, it's a mess. It's not like that. To me, because of my OCD, anything that's out of place is a mess. Like, for example, I'm going to turn you guys and show you the table. Mind you, we're in an extended space. We have limited space, okay? So, we have to use every space that we have. So, on the table, you'll see the air fryer... And all the little small odds and ends stuff. And on top of the chair. That's the battery. My other battery to my wheelchair on the chair. There's lots of markers. It's, it's, did y'all see that? Yeah, I did. Okay. So, it's things like that. And then, on the floor, it could be papers that somebody dropped and didn't pick up. Or the fact that it just needs to be swept. Then, the chair has clothes that we still have to fold and put away. And my wheelchair takes up a good space of the room. You're, like, limited on what you can and can't do. 
I don't know if you're about to see that. So, to me, it's like, oh my god, it's a disaster. It's the end of the world. Oh no, what am I going to do? So other people can still be like, bro, you need to turn this place up. But they'll be like, it ain't what your brain is running to tell you that it is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I know that, I know that, um, it just really bothers me. It gets, it's bothering me right now really bad. Like, and I'm trying to sit here and think while talking to you guys, I'm trying to sit here and think, how can I help? What can I do to make this process go quicker? How can I try to do certain things without busting my ass? Or causing more pain. That's what I'm sitting here trying to figure out. So I can help her out. So that she's not overwhelmed. This is not an easy road, you guys. It really isn't. It's a very difficult road. And sometimes I wish I could turn back the hand in time. If I would have known then what I know now. I would have made different decisions, different choices, went through different routes, attempted different things. I'm at the wrong house. Yeah, but it, that's not life and it's not possible, so I just gotta live with the rolls and the punches that I have now. And my rolls and my punches are telling me that I need to find a way to survive and that's what I'm trying to do find a way to survive that's my goal find a way to survive how am I going to do it I don't know is it going to work I don't know and I just know that hopefully we have this room looking a lot better if they do come so we could be like see we're in the middle of cleaning like um, I should fold this laundry though so Bibba can actually clean because I can talk to you guys and fold the laundry so this way Bibba can clean let her go please take all of your trash like that I've been told you and go put all your trash in the garbage I just want to eat the crackers that's okay I still need you to put all of your trash in the garbage Whoa. like that I told you to do I can just want to dump up the crackers. No, I'm asking you. I'm, see, I've already... This is going to be the third time. The third time, I'm going to make the same statement. Mommy should not have to ask you more than once. And Mommy is telling you three times already. Please go throw your trash out. Yeah, you can continue to eat. That's not a problem. Please throw your trash out. No, please. I'm happy with her. I'm not happy with her. She should not have to ask more than once or tell you more than once what I need you to accomplish. Don't dispute with me. Like, you're a child. I'm the adult. Like, let's get it together, kid. Let's get it together. But I don't even remember what I was saying, you guys. I'm sorry. She just, she took me there. Like, she really just took me there. I almost forgot I was recording. I was about to embarrass her little behind. Can't do that. Can't embarrass my baby. That's not cool. That's not okay. But I would have. My bipolar would have kicked in, bro. And it wouldn't have given rat's ass what would have came out of its mouth. And that's not okay. That's why I work really hard to keep my shit under control. I work really hard to keep myself under control. But, um, you guys, I appreciate any support and love that you can provide for me and my family. 
Um, I would greatly appreciate if you guys caught my episodes when they dropped, shared, sent in questions, whatever the case may be, like, I won't feel so so alone, and I won't feel like I'm just entertainment for people, because that's what I feel like now, like, my family and I could be living under a bridge right now, and you guys will still be just watching for entertainment. But people that have money and have all these statuses are receiving all this support and love that they already have thousands and thousands of people giving it. So why not give it to those that really need it? Like my family and I, your prayers are enough. I'm just throwing it out there, just throwing it out there. I'd appreciate, you know what I'm saying? And I appreciate the support and love of those that I do have now. Um, I'm still working out how I'm going to make this podcasting work, especially because being in one room is really getting very frustrating. Um, especially on those podcast days that I want to provide information and like be a coach. You know what I'm saying? I can't because of what's going on around me. So I'm still trying to make this work. I'm still going to be once a week right now on Wednesdays is when you can expect the episodes. It's when you can expect the episodes. Um, I still have to do my vlogs on YouTube. I haven't even been putting up a blog like it's just I'm trying to get my life together you guys and I have it together to an extent but it's not what I want it's not what I envision so I'm trying to work to make it better but anyways thank you so much for watching thank you for your love thank you for your support thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you hope you have an amazing blessed day I appreciate y'all to the max. Sorry for Lyrical being so loud. But apparently she's not realizing that I am talking. So my apologies for that. But please don't forget tomorrow is a promise to anyone. So let's make today count. So make yesterday jealous. I just said that all messed up. But whatever. I'm tired you guys. Just work with me here okay. Anyways be blessed. And I love you guys. And again thank you so much for the support.